Howdy, hi everybody. Srasvichin, uh, hola, uh, merhaba, and jen dobre. Now, this film, I had a power outage in the neighborhood and I lost the sound for it. I lost sound and the webcam picture. However, this is the hat I was wearing at the time of the crime. What we're getting ready to do is go down into the caves and uh, rebuild a science machine. And basically, I'm going to make thulacite armor. Uh, I should have taken a construction amulet down there with me, and I completely spaced the damn thing. If you have a construction amulet, you can uh, build stuff for half the cost. Uh, here, I decided I kind of got lucky the first time around. I think first we're looking for Chester. Yeah. Oh, and I, oh, I'm still down there. <laughs> I'm sorry. In real time, I saved in the cave. It was the damnedest thing. I, uh, I don't remember why, but I, uh, got the early part done and decided just to explore the cave in general. And I thought, well, I'd never save in the caves because I don't trust them not to bug. I thought, well, hell, I'll save in the cave. And it wasn't a few minutes later the power went out. And with the webcam, it has to process the film, so it was toast. Well, I got the picture and I got the game sound, so. Uh, this is where I decided to go with 10 Dragon Pies. It occurred to me I might have been lucky the first time. And what I'm going with is I'm going to try to use mostly log armor. With If all the cave were, if even two or three cave worms get on you, they'll go through it in a heartbeat. But I was kind of counting on the Rockies. Now, these Rockies have sneaked up from the swamp, so I'm going to have to do another Rocky clearance. And I hate to do it, but I think the only thing I could do is get rid of every Rocky. Now, last I looked, it was uh, the dark of the moon, so we've got a ways to go on doing Shadow and uh, uh, Snow Chester. And I still haven't figured, I think WX is at least like 12 days away. So there's all my little Rockies. Because I've been futzing around upstairs, we've probably got all the cave worms again. So what's happening here is me kind of picking up a few more Rockies and waiting for the cave worms to turn up so that the Rockies can deal with them. Now I tried bee mines down here and I tried pigs and bunnies and cave worms just kill the hell out of Six cave worms kill the hell out of bunnies and pigs. Uh, this is a pain in the ass to set up, but I, it sure seems like the easiest solution. I mean, the Rockies. And this particular group seems to stay right about here. I think at some point in there it occurred to me I didn't have my armor on. Always a surprise. Oh, I bet you I forget to pick up that backpack. Oh, I can't pick up that backpack on the way out. I'll have to go back down and get it. I don't come out through here because of that bug in this cave. I might trade out old Batty Bat here. He gets warm after a while. Batty Bat was from a period of time when the uh, the webcam on screen in the videos got way too big. It's an experience thing. I just screwed up. I, I It actually interfered with the videos and I cut back on it. Are you ready, my little friend? All spider all the time. Uh, I was just showing this. I've got the... I never did explore the whole first level. I got really lucky 
in finding that's the entrance from above but the only thing in this cave is uh well i haven't explored it so anyway there is a regular bunny thing that i did not build i wonder if i took a nap here okay i think we're back on track but i got really lucky in finding the cave opening really quick the the ruins level opening and that lantern's got to be bugged because it's been lit. I haven't been replacing it. It's been lit for the longest. And here we are. I thought, and I mentioned here, I thought about bringing, I've got the amulet that tells you what time it is down here as far as the lights. And uh, you can pretty much see the damn things, especially now that there are those fissures, F-I-S-S-U-R-E-S. Those cracks that have the light coming out of them. As you can see, I'm digging, but nothing is coming out. It does seem that you could destroy them, though. Or maybe you're digging under them. I'm not sure. At some point, I go ahead. I guess it's like roads where you're digging under them. But yeah, I did that to make sure whatever I was digging up was going in my inventory. And there's nothing going in my inventory. There, I broke one of them. But anyway, there's no way that I know of to transfer that stuff. sure what I was doing here. Looking for the rest of the, Oh, I was just switching over. Collecting light bulbs. I was trying to... It's been so long since I've been in the cage, I was trying to avoid the mistakes. Make sure I had enough lights and uh, the whole bit before I went into that bigger... The, the nasty area of the pink lights. We might jump ahead here. Obviously, here I'm just trying to shake the cave worm. Yeah, okay, that's the science machine we're going for. And all the statues, whether they're fishes or that thing there, the big bug. Our, uh, the Maxwell bug is what it looks like. It looks like a Maxwell cockroach. But anyway, all of them show up like that on the map. Uh, the runes are supposed to be based on Howard Phillips Lovecraft's uh, The Deep Ones. And it's really, really, really loose interpretation. Of course, every, all the movies they've done, the games of uh, Lovecraft and Cthulhu, all of them are very loosely based on anything he did. Uh, there's still some, uh, what you call it, uh, knights and bishops down here. I didn't run across another rhino. You've got to get rid of the rhinos or else they will destroy completely the ancient altars. And I bitched about that when they first did it. I don't think a rhino should... And I assume they still can. I, haven't, I don't know any way to look it up. The absence of something, but... Uh, they had one huge area like this in my cave the, when they first did the ruins that there wasn't one science machine left because the rhinos had destroyed them all. Okay, we repair it with Thulicite. Oh, and uh, this is what's open to start with. I just don't have... There are seven things open, and Wiki will list them to you. And I don't have the ingredients for uh, all seven. That's why they're not fully lit. And that's making uh, Thulecite from fragments. The other one is uh, Thulecite wall. Then uh, Thulecite medallion, the magnaluminescence. Uh, the construction amulet, and I'd completely forgotten them. Some of this stuff I haven't done in so long, I've forgotten about it. 
construction amulet, you use half the ingredients to make something. Uh, the magnaluminescence is the same uh, wattage as a torch, so it's incredibly lame. The star color projects a uh, light that uh, helps with your sanity, and in the past you could set uh, spider nests on fire. If I remember, we'll try to do that and see if it's still possible. That's where I was bitching about forgetting to bring one down. I think I've got one. Come on, move it along, Wilson. And the deconstruction staff theoretically breaks everything down. I think, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Seemed like it gave you all the stuff from it, theoretically, but it didn't. Well, I looked up the Houndius Shudius, and it says it doesn't work on it. It wasn't. There we go. So that's the full uh, ancient altar, which is the pseudoscience machine. Lazy Explorer. For two orange gems, that's an expensive thing to pick up stuff faster. People have asked me, why don't you use it? That's like, that's a lot of damn work to just pick stuff up. Uh, the combination pick and axe was kind of a non-starter. Uh, there may be people using them. I don't, I don't ever hear about it. Uh, the suicide suit actually speeds you up, I think. And, and I, Damn it, I don't know if the crown does or not. I think the suit does. There's something else I'm thinking of. My, I think the magnaluminescence uh, amulet speeds you up. And the how do you shoot us? There's no one place where I ever fight. We might just set it up. What the hell? Um, there's something else there I was thinking about. Oh, the Thulosite Club, since they buffed the Hambat, and made it uh, spoil instead of wearing out. It's just, uh, it's a better weapon. So they kind of made even this. A lot of the stuff, like the Magnum Luminescence, never was worth the crap. And a lot of the other stuff just. It wasn't worth, you know, finding a herd of Rockies, bringing them upstairs, breeding them, take them all back downstairs, and then exploring until you find the second level of the you know the second cave level the ruins and then uh killing the rhinos <laughs> it's like uh so for all that i get something that picks crap up faster how cool come on wilson get a wiggle on here buddy And here I'm just headed back out and smashing some statues. Uh, theoretically, the color of the gem in the statue is the gem you will get from the statue. Problem is, I personally can't tell, like on that statue there, I can't tell the color of those eyes unless they're possibly red. And the light that comes up uh, when it's the bad time to me on my TV is pink. And the TV's expensive and it's adjusted right. I watch a lot of college football, so the colors are right. I just, yeah, see, I would, like I said, I would have said red there. However, some people evidently can't, uh, and I don't know what good it would do you. I mean, you get what you get as far as I know. I don't know if they change with the phases of the light. It never seemed to me they did, but I don't know. What do we owe? Oh, we needed to switch picks there. 
Alright, blue, and I never understood why they put blue and red gems down here. At the time they put the blue and red gems in, uh, the blue gems you could still get infinite ice hounds, and it was like, so instead of having the yellow, green, and orange that I really need to make cool stuff, I'm getting red and blue that I can get anywhere upstairs. And it's the bad time again. There should be other one more area that like that. And probably off of it there should be the Minotaur maze. So right now I'm saved down in the caves. Assuming they haven't bugged or done anything weird. Oh, I was going to show you what happens if you smash one of these when the pink light's on. Surprise! It's Crawly Wally! And a cave worm. <laughs> and a spider nest. <gasps> Now, if any of this seems like it's easy for me, you got to remember I've played the game for like over 800 hours, and I spent a stupid amount of time down in the caves. And the whole rocky thing, if you can take the cave worms out of the dimension, all the rest of it is manageable. And the cave worm, the rockies to me are like another solution to a problem where you only have one possible solution. I think you ought to be able to hire bunnies or pigs and, and beat them. I think there should be a cap on three cave worms. I think they're doing that in uh, ROG. I did look on wiki and it didn't uh, have anything about a uh, cap of three in uh, original Don't Starve. And this is probably about where I decided to move along and do some exploring. I was speculating on, I think, whatever I'm going to find is over here. And, of course, it's the pink light time, so I think I probably went ahead and decided to save. So, anyway, sorry about the mess up on the film and all that, but, you know, stuff happens. So, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Next time you see Wilson and I, we will be in the caves unless something very bad has happened to us. <laughs> like a bug. Uh, theoretically, we should be right there in the caves the next time you see us. All right, all of you take care of yourselves, and we'll be around.